from what we know, a baby has been kidnapped by the state um, due to a parent's affiliation with a, a group called Oath Keepers. Um, there have allegedly been some other charges that are unconfirmed, I do not know. But this is supposed to be America, not Nazi Germany. You should not have your children stolen um, for affiliation with the group, so that's why I'm here. How did you find out about the whole incident? Actually, through Facebook. Um, I got a message through there and did some research and found out that the taking of the baby um, is real actually happened on Thursday, I believe. Um, and that, as far as I know from the affidavit that has been posted now to the Alex Jones show, um, one of the reasons listed is the affiliation with the Oath Keepers. Right. So. And are you, you a member of that group? You know what, I joined this morning just because, yeah. How you doing, Stay the you guys right now. Where's your baby? Um, she's either inside in the, um, Maternity ward in the nursery or, or in a foster home. In a foster home. We don't know where. So you don't even know if she's in the hospital or, or No, they refuse to tell us. They refuse to tell us any, any more information. We were lucky to spend two minutes each with her yesterday before we were forced to leave. So she was she you guys were separated yesterday? Yes. yes. And when did you give birth? I gave birth to her on the sixth at eleven thirty seven at night. When she was about Roughly 16 hours old, they came and took her from us. So that was yesterday afternoon? Yep. Yeah. So I'm sorry about that. Have you, um, have you guys, so they basically, I, I heard the, the version you gave on that phone interview with that fellow George. Yes, sir. Somebody who appears to have been DCYF or, or the police or somebody came in. Yes, there were, there were three uniformed Concord patrolmen and three to four Concord detectives and two DCYF social workers. So th th that affidavit that I saw online, is that, was that something you guys were served with since, since then or? We were given that by DCYF. In the hospital? Yes. So there's... They, they, they don't even have her, her date of birth correct. The entire, the entire affidavit Every statement in there is fabricated and trumped up, and, and there's no evidentiary backbone to it whatsoever. No substantiary evidence to it at all. So, do you, did you? Did your? Do you have a copy of it with you? No. Yes, I do. Do you think? Do you have a copy of that, or just no? Just I don't. The this is copy? this is the original right here. Um, this is the petition for abuse and neglect. This has the state of New Hampshire seal on it, as you can feel if you can't see it. Mm -hmm. And. So what are they alleging that you that you abused your current children? Like your they're they're alleging that they're trying to allege that I uh, we abused our daughter when they don't even have her date of birth right. If you look, oh not 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 your newborn. Are they talking about your newborn or yes? They're talking. Yeah. That's why they took our oh, newborn. Oh 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 oh. This is an abuse uh, uh, petition for abuse and neglect. Child's name Cheyenne Irish. That's our daughter, our newborn. So and. I can. Yeah, why don't you show me? I can show you. This is just all information specifics. Mm -hmm. This is, and right here, it talks about how the division became aware and confirmed that Mr. Irish is associated with a militia known as the Oath Keepers and has purchased several different types of weapons, including a rifle, handgun, and taser. And then it goes on to say, the division has not had contact with David Taylor, Stephanie's ex-husband, for many months in this current case because Miss Taylor and Mr. Taylor remain married at this time. Ms. David Taylor is the legal father to the baby. They're trying to say her ex-husband is the father to my child. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know why this is happening or where it's coming from, but they stole my daughter. They stole our daughter. They abducted and kidnapped our daughter under false pretenses, they have no substantiated evidentiary facts to their claims. That says that you're still married to Taylor, is that, is that true? That's because he will not accept or sign the papers. My attorney has even looked at his attorney and said, I have the papers here, will you take them so that he can sign them? And they said, no. 
So I've done everything I possibly can to get divorced from this guy. And I've been trying since 2008. And he just won't do it. Like I said, they, they refuse to let us videotape and record for our own benefit. When the police and DCYF came into the room and illegally searched me, they, they refused to allow us to videotape the conversations that we were having um, when they told us that they were taking custody of our daughter. Uh, I, I'm honestly, I'm at a loss for words. I, everything I'm saying, I've said, I can't even, over a million times, I mean. We just want our daughter back. I guess I should have made At the more. sign store. Uh, I didn't think about it. I was in such a hurry to get out of the house. I, I love that. That's great. That is great. They don't like the politics, they took it down. Why is this? And when did this come up? This is just coming up now. Okay. okay. So if you have a vehicle parked on the property, that kind of stuff. Uh, you should move before they call another tow. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Is Stephanie here? Stephanie's right over there. She's okay. uh, in the interview right now. Okay. We have a little for her as well. Okay. okay. And again, any uh, emergency services solicited that uh, you're more than welcome outside of emergency service? No. Okay. Yep. What was so the uh, pretense for this? Yeah, yeah, you guys what? can take it up with the with the hospital. Okay, it's their decision. I kid up your kid, children are making the kid. Are you proud of what you're doing? Just doing your job, right? Just doing your job. So, all right. So, what just happened? Um, a sergeant from the Concord Police Department, I, I couldn't catch his name because I, I, the way he was standing, I couldn't get a look at his uh, name badge, but he came down, it was a sergeant and what looked like a corporal from the Concord Police Department came down with the head of security, the director of security here at Concord Hospital, John Sharon, to issue me a, essentially a no trespass letter, um, written and issued by Mr. John Sharon. And they made me move my vehicle. I had to move my vehicle down the street off of Concord property. And they are telling me that if I come on Concord, prop Concord Hospital property again, unless, unless I need emergency services, I'm going to be arrested for criminal trespass. So, uh, and, and, and it says, quote unquote, based on re recent circumstances, this is to serve as a no... Based, based on re recent circumstances, this is to serve as a notice that you are not allowed to enter onto Concord Hospital property unless you require emergency services. Should you come onto Concord Hospital property for any other reason, we will pursue charges of criminal trespass. Signed by John Sharon. Hold on one second. They had the situation we spoke about about her two children.